proof 9-11 was done by him. Uh, that, um, the American people. That's what he's saying. The American people. More powerful than the people that live here. Part of the issue in convincing people to put sanctions on a specific country is to convince them that the it's in the world's interest. 9-11. He just they admitted to it. Motherfucker. Yeah, George doesn't have a problem talking until you tell him that some people think he has advanced knowledge of 9-11. That was a certain situation. I know you said there'll be a time for politics, but you've also said you wanted to change the tone of Washington. Howard Dean recently seemed to muse aloud whether you had advanced knowledge of 9-11. Do you agree or disagree with the RNC that this kind of rhetoric borders on political hate speech? Yeah. Uh, look, there's time for politics. And, uh, you know, it's time for politics. And uh, I, uh, it's an absurd situation. Yeah, so absurd, despite you talking about the placement of explosives uh -huh. high enough so that the people on the floors above couldn't escape, huh? That is valuable information for those of us who had the responsibility to protect the American people. He told us the operatives have been instructed to ensure that the explosives went off at a, high po a point that was high enough to prevent people trapped above from escape. A point that was high enough he just admitted to it right there, people. Above from escape. The sad part of this next clip is the people around this guy videotaping, asking about Building 7, asking about Carol Quigley. What do those of his peers have to say? Do they say, yeah, Bill, a building falling at free fall speed, uh, it being said to have been decided to pull it. Nope. We get, get out of here. Shut up. Be respectful like he was to the Oval Office and to his wife. What happened to Building 7? What happened to Building 7, Bill? Oh. I don't even know where it is. They asked me a direct question. I had to give an honest answer. See? They knew it, guys. I don't need these notes, but I think I'll get them back. Are you going to build them on this year? So, here we are. Tell us about Carol Quigley. Tell us about your mentor, Quigley. Hillary voted against this because we have asked beforehand to know how we're going to deal with this better. No. <laughs> all right. I like it. I also like Oliver Stone. He sees the truth of Bush and the truth of Obama and the problem with the people of this country and the scary idea of what will become if people continue this path of apathy. I just wanted to know there's a statement in your book talking about how Obama gets away with things that Dick Cheney would have wished and dreamed he could have gotten away with. Why do you think there's not enough public outrage against Obama's acts? Intense passivity. Apathy of the younger generation. They won't protest. They use the internet instead of going out with their feet and marching. What would you say? I would say, <laughs> I said it is much harder because they consider Obama to be a liberal, so they're not going to criticize him in the same way. But but one of the things that we're upset about, we, we attacked Bush for years because he was doing surveillance without judicial review. Obama is killing people, targeting people for death without judicial review. Obama has become judge, jury, and executioner in a way that Cheney would have, might have loved to do, and Bush might have loved to do, but they weren't able to do. They weren't even, they weren't so outrageous and audacious as to do that, but Obama has it. He doesn't get criticized enough. I was wondering, do you individuals have questions, and would you support uh, the movie or a new investigation of 9-11? There was an investigation, and there's a lot of damning evidence in it, but uh, they didn't go all the way. But, huh? Right there. There's much to be gained from that, I think. Man, he's on their side, you fucking piece of shit. What Bush did with the initiatives he got and the, the chaos he created. We go into that at some length of the book. They're scared of him. I think we need a Truth and Reconciliation Commission in the United States to explore the war crimes of the Bush administration. Amen. Or not amen. Obama. 
But I think that's Thank God. Uh, Thanks, guys. Well, like and subscribe. Also on Jerrynism. Check him out. Later, guys.